Hi, my name is uh, Erwin van Orl. I work for the company Gazelle. Uh, actually, Royal Gazelle, which is in Dutch uh, Koninklijke Gazelle. This is a company which exists for over 120 years. We are a company that is developing and producing and selling, I think, 300,000 bikes per year and of about one-fifth uh, are e-bikes. So this, this last generation, uh, direct, direct drive motors, we, we made a switch from uh, the conventional uh, motor steering, which is based only on back EMF, and now we use the uh, Piccolo microcontroller with the InstaSpin uh, FOC. We are using the new FAST uh, algorithm in our latest generation uh, motors. And this FAST algorithm has uh, a big benefit because it uh, gives uh, several parameters as an output. So for instance, speed and torque is given at a very high accuracy and a very high uh, resolution. And we use these parameters for future functionalities which we are developing at the moment. We have another benefit uh, and that is that we have uh, a high torque at zero speed. So compared to the conventional uh, generation, we have the desired uh, torque at roughly three or four kilometers an hour. And now we already have it at uh, zero kilometers an hour. Our team has engineers with only a few years in motor steering technique. And now with the InstaSpin, we are able to do the low level uh, motor steering and leave that more up to the chip. And we can now fully focus on the more high level part, like for instance, uh, the display technique, the sensors that are on the e-bike, like uh, the torque measurement sensor, which is in the back of the e-bike, and the rotation sensor, which is close to the chain ring, battery management system. So this whole uh, system we can have full focus on now. So the InstaSpin FOC uh, has two types of modes. It has uh, the torque mode and the speed mode. The torque mode is used for normal operation, uh, but it's very helpful that we can also switch uh, uh, to speed mode because this is used in our uh, production uh, and assembly uh, to make sure that the whole bike is assembled well and that the motor is okay. We put it into speed mode and we can fully test uh, the motor. So uh, we are really happy with this uh, new motor technique and uh, because of uh, the whole motor identification. So uh, with this I, this I mean that in future if we want to use another motor uh, like let's say a back wheel motor or another front wheel motor it's uh, quite easy because uh, the motor identification will take care of the low part uh, motor steering and we don't need to um, have too much focus on this. What we see is that more and more people switch to e-bikes simply because it takes less energy. This means that, for instance, uh, someone uh, who wants to go to work and which is uh, 20 kilometers away, which would be a little bit too much uh, for a normal bike, he could buy an e-bike and go to work and then still have the exercise and still being in the, uh, in the open air, but not coming to work exhausted. I think this is really a big benefit of e-bikes and you just see it becoming more and more popular.